Welcome back to a brand new Liverpool Career Mode episode and we play Inter in the Champions League second leg knockout stage and also we will play Manchester City, that's the first game of the episode. We loaned out Garcia to Juventus for a one year loan move which is pretty good because he's only 21 years old and he can grow and develop. And Man City have an amazing team but their defenders are tired, their centre backs are really tired. They have still an amazing side and uh, we have a very comfortable lead in the Premier League but I still want to beat Man City. Let's go! There aren't many bigger games on the calendar than this one. Certainly we're talking about two highly successful teams with passionate followings. Welcome to the Etihad Stadium and I'm really motivated and pumped against Man City. I hate them more now than any other side probably in the Premier League apart from Man United and Everton. They have grown to be, become Liverpool's biggest rivals for trophies and titles. Oh no, Pedri. Osiman, great tackle. And the double deflection goes wide. Come on, Trent, go to him. Joao Cancelo is in. Goretzka. No. Ooh, I almost conceded the silliest goal. Oh, that's not a foul. Carvalho gets injured. And the referee waves play on, even though I think that was a foul. Surely not. Ossiman! <laughs> Listen! Come on! The amount of cheese that happens sometimes in this game. So, Carvalho is taken out by a Man City player. He doesn't get a foul. We get punished. What can you do when you're 93 rated goalkeeper, Alisson? It's a straight at him, but at the last second he starts curling away. A dreadful goal to concede. Osiman's first goal of the season. Yes, Fabinho. Carvalho. Luis Diaz. You have to finish it! Yes, Diaz! Our first shot of the whole game! And we score from it! Luis Diaz, he goes out to the Liverpool section to celebrate. One through goal, one chance, that's all we needed. And Fabio Carvalho picked up an injury, punishes Man City for taking him out by getting the assist. And Ossiman, after he broke his goal-scoring drought, gets substituted for Timo Werner, who I guess is Man City's top scorer. Man City gets an injury Pedri the referee stops the game because he can't continue he's getting uh, taken off by the ambulance and even though I love tackling this time it was just an innocuous Fabinho bumped him Jota please Kiesa oh what a tackle what a tackle and Fabio Carvalho is down again go Kiesa oh my goodness Kiesa is in Hit it, Kiesa! Yeah! We have done it! What a hit! Frederico Kiesa! Oh, that is an absolutely brilliant strike! Look how fast Kiesa is! There's just no one catching him and he buries the chance into the far corner. Ederson had no chance, he hit it with power and accuracy. On yes, Sterling, sit down, bro. Raheem Sterling, he just tackled Trent, so it's a retaliation. Ferran Torres. Come on. Oh, Alisson is equal to that powerful shot. No, no. Mancini, Ferran Torres. Mancini, the centre back. Ferran Torres and Timo Werner in the 89th minute from a Man City corner. They just outpassed us and I hate this late celebrations by Man City. Look how much it means to even get a point against the mighty Liverpool. The Man City fans are going crazy because they are fighting for the top four at the moment and this goal doesn't give them a chance in the title race. But Timo Werner is no wonder he scores because he is Man City's top scorer. But only his 10th goal in 27 games, that's a pretty poor return. 
The Man City fans are still furious because they didn't beat us and I think a point is a good result here. Overall I'm disappointed that we didn't hold on of course. But away at the Etihad, in our position where we are so far away in the Premier League title race, you know a point at uh, Man City is not the worst result. They probably should have won this game, we only had three shots. But it still feels a little bit uh, disappointing that uh, Man City got a late equaliser. Chelsea lost to Brighton but Man United won at Tottenham so Man United got closer to us but our lead is still 8 points plus we have a better goal difference. Tottenham have an outside chance of finishing in a European place but Arsenal now can be real worried because uh, they didn't win but Burnley thankfully to them lost to Watford and that's a huge result for Watford and thankfully Luis Diaz is not out for long he is only out for 5 days but Fabio Carlos our best goal scoring midfielder is out for three months that is an awful news but this time Ed Guy will step up and play in his place and I love these graphics the next step towards the title for Liverpool we will play Newcastle United next and I wanted to show you what amazing things happened in the League Cup for example so remember Wolves knocked out Manchester City on penalties in the semi-finals and it was an underdog final Wolves and Watford are both fighting against relegation and Sadio Mane has transferred to Wolves in the summer and he will play European football next season I checked that Mane is not retiring and Wolves has won their first major trophy in many many decades so congratulations to Wolves but what's equally amazing is that there is no big team left in the FA Cup quarterfinals it's absolutely staggering that Sheffield United of the championship knocked out Man City Reading knocked out Newcastle and wait for it Millwall knocked out Chelsea the Millwall fans must be absolutely ecstatic but imagine if a second division side win the FA Cup and we put in some of our second team so Konate, Krog, Jones and Song Min Q start uh, they, they all need some game time but this Newcastle team is rock solid how are they in the relegation zone that's my biggest surprise welcome to St James's Park this is the preparation for the big inter knockout stage second leg so let's get a win here that guy? No, it's Jota! Oh, it's over the bar! Something cute. That guy? Go on, Jota. Go on, Jota. Oh my goodness, Jota, what a run! And that guy! Yes, that guy! He has run it! It's 1 0 Liverpool! We are up and running and that guy who will play a lot of games now that Fabio Carvalho is out for three months. He gets us up to a brilliant start and it's all because of Jota's brilliant run and that guy ruthlessly finishes it. Well he hasn't scored for like 11 games now but now he has two in two games. Oh my goodness what a pass and Krogs uh, Curtis Jones. Jota. That guy, go on, that guy! Oh my goodness, he hits the bar! Oh, that is so unlucky. Jota. Go on, Song Min Kyu! Brilliant first touch! He has to finish it! Yes! Song has done it! It's 2 0 Liverpool! And he does that Dibala celebration. That first touch is the key to this goal, and then the finish is there. Song has been out injured, but he's back and he is scoring goals now. Fantastic. No. Great block. Another great block. Gomez, a third time. Brilliant blocking. If something comes of this. Oh my goodness. Akiza is actually on side, but Woodman saves his. Oh yes. Song Min Q. Good first touch. Can he bury it? Yes, he can, of course. Song gets a double. He gets a brace. It's Premier Liverpool. Game over. Brilliant through ball by Jota. And the first touch again was immaculate. The finish, great. Naveda, Curtis Jones, Naveda, and the 
Yes, Jota! Well, I love this, that half of the Newcastle Stadium is empty. The fans went down a long time ago because we, our team were two and three goals down in the second half. But the Liverpool fans are still there and what a way to prepare for that Inter game. Song with a double, I'm so happy for him. And after two consecutive draws in the league, we needed this. We needed a big victory and it was one-way traffic for most of the game. Four expected goals and Song was the man of the match. I'm so happy that he's back from his two-year loan from Atalanta and Jota got a hat-trick of assists. Nice! Man United won again, so we kept up our 8-point lead, it was important to beat Newcastle and Man City got a big win, so it looks like Man City will easily finish in the top 4. And it's amazing that Wolves are in 15th place, but they have already qualified themselves for a European competition. And Wolves, after winning the League Cup, they are in the FA Cup semi-finals, they are going to Wembley again. Only Reading made it through from the second division teams, uh, so it will be a Sheffield Crystal Palace and Wolves Reading semi-finals in the FA Cup. Wow, this is refreshing and unusual. And Inter have a pretty amazing team, but Bruno, the 92 rated player, is out injured because he got injured against us. So he misses this game. My strongest possible available lineup is out there. Let's get a win and let's get through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Welcome to Anfield! This is it! The whole season hinges on this game. If we go out of the Champions League at the last 16 stage, it will be a massive disappointment because we have lost the FA Cup, we lost the League Cup already, yes we won the Community Shield but that's a small trophy and after losing last year's Champions League final I really want to get to a, for the final and win it this time. Oh wow, Barella already got injured and Renato Sanchez gets an early yellow card, that's not ideal. But Inter losing one of their best midfielders is not good for them but Neuhaus is also world class. Oh my goodness, the, the goalkeeper almost gifted us possession! Terrific pass. Oh, come on, Gomez. Greenwood. He goes past me! Alisson makes a crucial save. Oh, no. Jota, please. No! Chiesa is down injured. Neuhaus. Bukai Osaka. Ah, don't turn me. Dude. Greenwood! to the other Greenwood and it's 1-0 Inter. Mason Greenwood, the former Man United player who is now on trial and suspended for abusing his girlfriend. Oh my goodness, I can't believe he's still in FIFA in this career mode and he punishes me for the slightest mistake. Gomez is just a good yard behind Greenwood and he buries it. Four goals in eight games now for Mason Greenwood. Oh man, I wish I could just delete him from FIFA. Go on. Luis Diaz! Come on. Renato Sanchez! Oh, Ramiro saves it. Go on, Luis Diaz. Luis Diaz. He's in. Luis Diaz! Ramiro again! No! Neuhaus. Surely not. Alisson. Big save. Chiesa. And Chiesa misses the target. Oh no. Neuhaus. Brilliant tackle. That guy. To Song in Q. He just came on. And Jota is in. And Jota scores! We are back in the steel go Jota. Come on. Pick the ball up. Come on Jota. Never mind. Let's him go out to the fans to celebrate. What a substitution. Keys are picked up an injury. So Song came on in his place. And straight away he gets an assist. Ah, look how open Jota is. You can't leave our top scorer wide open in the box. Big mistake by Inter. From the flag. Come on, Gomez! Gomez! Oh no! It's the worst nightmare! Harry Maguire!
Maguire, the Man United player, and he has the cheek to shush me and the Liverpool fans. My goodness, this hurts. Maguire, the Man United captain, could be the player to knock us out in the Champions League. Gomez was bullied in the air by Maguire. I cannot believe that happened. A simple free kick from the halfway line, and we concede. Upa Meccano, what are you doing Upa Meccano? He gives Inter the possession. Go on Curtis. Curtis Jones. And I see Jota. Please Jota. Jota. You have to score this. No way. That's it. That's our Champions League done. Diogo Jota misses a one-on-one. -on -one. It's a world class. If come on, Inter, why are you holding up an Ian Rush banner? That is absolutely incredible. Oh my goodness, this is devastating. It's heartbreaking. Inter knock us out in the round of 16 in the Champions League with a Harry Maguire goal. And I don't think Inter deserve it. This is brutal, man. I think we had the more and better chances. We just couldn't get past their goalkeeper. We had nine shots. Inter just had five. But they had more XG. A lot of our shots got blocked. They had all five shots on target. Man, I'm heartbroken. They knock us out 4-3 on aggregate. But that Jota chance in the last minute. An amazing save by the goalkeeper. I can't fault Jota, he has scored. We really should have scored more. And Mason Greenwood and Maguire knock us out. And Ramiro had a brilliant game. This is painful, but I think because we have gone to five Champions League finals in a row, which was a history in itself, and we already won three Champions Leagues as well, I can take this defeat because, as I said, we have been the most successful in the Champions League competition so far in this career mode. Now we just have the job to win the Premier League title. And I mean, any season where Liverpool win the Premier League title is a great season in my book. So even if we just win the coming this year, is already in the bag and the Premier League. I still will call this season successful, but it's, as I said, a bitter pill to swallow. Go out early from another competition. Man United and Man City are through Atletico Madrid as well. I just hope that uh, not uh, Man United or Man City win the Champions League. PSG got knocked out by Hertha Berlin, the biggest shock of the Champions League season by a country mile. Juventus, Monaco and Barcelona are also through to the quarterfinals. Thankfully Chiesa has only suffered a shoulder injury, so he's only out for five days. Man United got Barcelona and Man City got Inter, so we would have had the Man City-Liverpool quarterfinal, Juventus, Monaco and uh, Hertha, Atletico really interesting quarterfinals and the Champions League top scorers look like this uh, we don't have player in the top scorer chart but we have been rotating the team quite a bit in the group stages Jota has two assists uh, but yeah we just haven't been good enough in this Champions League campaign which is really painful to say we got a loan offer for one of our youth academy players we just promoted this guy he's 18 years old let's try and loan him out for a one-year loan finally after five and a half seasons finally we get the England job. This has been my dream to manage either the England or the Hungary national team. The Hungary national team never arrived. So let's reject the Portugal job and let's accept the England job. Straight away I will accept it because uh, I think we have a lot of uh, incredible youth category players that we can grow and develop. Uh, who can become regulars in the England national. And we are also involved in uh, the European qualifiers and so far, I mean, I'm taking over in such a comfortable position. Wait, so let's, let's count Finland because actually they have four more games. So Finland in four games can collect 12 points so they can't catch us. We are through already. England have won every single game. To be honest, in this group, that's expected. But I still will play probably the competitive games. And at the moment, this is how the England squad looks like. We have an amazing squad of players, but uh, this guy is uh, very exciting. He came through the Man United Youth Academy, but they sold him amazingly as 90 finishing. So he will probably, probably start ahead of Harry Kane, who has 94 finishing, but Harry Kane is very, very slow. And in the next episode, we will play our first games with England and also we will have a big game against Arsenal. Really looking forward to that. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a nice day. See you later. Good night.